Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Italy. Benvenuti in Italia. Shanzi, this is Freddy Perram, and today I'm going to show you, and we're going to test uh, not uh, an usual car for our channel, an electric vehicle. Okay, okay, don't make a face like that, please. But it's one of the fastest electric vehicles on the market. So say welcome to this two tons and 300 kilograms of Audi e-tron GT RS, the longest name for an Audi ever made. 650 horsepower, 0, 63.3 seconds, quite the most between the Porsche Taycan Turbo S and it's quite nice. I don't know why Audi, every time you present some cars, you put the gray color on where you can't find the shapes, you can't see the lines. Build it yellow, build it white, build it red. So Not, boring. That's so boring. Ugly wheels for an ugly engine, if we can call an engine a power train with batteries. A huge golf cart, but it's quite fast. We just did two miles now, and it's pretty, pretty unbelievable how it's brutal, the acceleration. I'm gonna show you the interior, and then we're gonna make just a test drive between 060 and all the kind of things. Now we are in Austria, we are not in Italy, so we can we can't go as fast as we want. Here police works. Because in well. Italy we can. In Italy, Italy is Italy. Italia Italia spaghetti pizza 300 all'ora. Alcantara and carbon fiber as we need uh, lightweight materials for this huge metal block. <laughs> nice steering wheel, infotainment as always as an Audi. Today, if you can get on board on an Audi with blinded eyes and you open once you're inside, you can understand which model you're driving. All the They're same. all the same. Every model, it's so boring, as Ginny said. Now, no roof, otherwise we had to add more and more weight to reinforce the upper body of the car. And uh, I don't know how to switch off the head-up display that I hate with all my heart, <laughs> but who cares? And then I'm gonna show you the back. This one, net, just for a three-year-old. <laughs> Children, very tiny space. Just my <laughs> empty backpack makes only problems. because it's empty, there is space, otherwise, exactly. No way, I don't know. Let me check the trunk because I never took a look inside. Kind of generous, not so small. Come on, edition one and an edition they could call edition last <laughs> one off. <laughs> Here, maybe we can have more space. Because the spare oh we can put a lot of a lot of, a lot of money, iPhones a lot of money a lot of iPhones right there <laughs> electric trunk lots seriously. of carbon seriously this car looks like a sport car as the we as the lines are beautiful but Audi you can't include on the design the real tail lights you can't look ah. the car from here and <laughs> let's see understand that if i remove the daylight the design will be a lot of better lot better design why would you put this <laughs> but there's a quite funny thing in the front come here baby yeah Just stay there. if i'm gonna watch the lights if i'm gonna close it and I'm going to open them, they play. That's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, Will Smith in uh, iRobot 
with the R8 with all the bubbles on the road the wheels. Let's go on board, guys. Let's go. It's broken. It's broken. It doesn't start. <laughs> I don't know where it's electric. Now, before we leave, um, heated steering wheel. We have like eight degrees today. It's raining. It's ugly. Then car and uh, drive select dynamic or individual and then we're gonna put everything sound profile what the hell is going on it's not black my is gray i want to go down red you don't like those kind of things right <laughs> he has like a pneumatic suspension as an suv so you can go off-road now let's go whoa <laughs> Something. That was something. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. One of the the, the most uh, interesting things on board an electric car is the acceleration for sure. Also, if it's all-wheel drive, so it can do like this. <laughs> 160 so miles nice. per hour. That's I think it's faster than 3.3 seconds. I don't know, maybe Audi know. declared that time for safety. I don't know. I think so. But remember one thing, the electric powertrain goes just between the autonomy, the long range and the power. If you want, you can put like 2000 horsepower with this engine, with this electric engine and have like 30 miles of distance. So it's just a balance. But imagine we have like 150 kilometers left on the battery level, and we just took the car 15 minutes ago. Oh. So I don't know. We That's have... disappointing, actually. Exactly. I don't know, baby. What do you think? I think, in my opinion, electric vehicles are good just if they are more than 600 horsepower and if you can use them for 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, so they're totally useless. <laughs> exactly, but super fun. Super fun for 15 minutes. Hey, you driving? He's not driving. Every time lane assist, like scares me because if you leave the, the steering wheel it drives and then it, it, it stops and then, uh, that's not fair i want a, an autopilot yeah but they, I, I mean uh, it's useless pointless if it's doing something for you just one time and the second time it, 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 it doesn't it doesn't exactly i know that sucks so um let me find a spot where we can do some, uh, not drives, but accelerations. We don't do donuts? Uh, I don't know, maybe if you, if you can find a space. I don't know, Austria, uh, police, what do you think? We what do you think? We're Italian, we don't know anything about Austrian law. I want to put off the stupid lane assist, otherwise we're going to crash this car. It's always trying to catch my steering wheel. That's my steering wheel, not yours, motherfucker. My taxi. Hello. Hello. Did you enjoy? I had so much fun. <laughs> it doesn't break. No brakes at all. No brakes? No, it doesn't break. But it's okay, it's fast. Okay, let's go. What idea? <laughs>